Hello everyone, I'm back again. Um, in the middle of making my uh, uh, the journal lap book that you guys are going to see very soon and I am making an element for the cover and I thought uh, why not put on the camera and show you because maybe when I do the flip through for the main for the, the whole journal someone might be interested in how I made this piece so let's get started with this one um so the idea general idea for this is that it's going to be i don't show the journal right now because i like to surprise you guys with a that one that's already completed so the idea is that it's going to go pretend this is the journal it's gonna go like this in here like somewhere in the journal and then <laughs> there'll be this on the cover and then when you flip it or when you take it off you have another cover so that's the idea for this one um oh i lost my page that i had marked let's see let's just put it there um all right so this is white so i need to protect it so i already i've already made this obviously as you can see and i made it as thick as uh, it's it needed to be to to stay properly over the journal and now i want to make a pocket for here and this is going to be a uh, Something that's gonna tie the journal on the what's the right side. So it's gonna go like this behind the journal and then tie a, a knot here to keep it closed, like a closure. Yeah, I guess this is a closure, that's what it is. But first <clears throat> I need to make the a pocket for for the front here. And that is going to be, this is just, uh, I think, 200 gram paper. And this is, let's see what this measures. I remember to change the little thing on my ruler. <laughs> the other one was looking a little bit not so nice. So this is 12 centimeters. And I want it about, what, how high? Hmm... Um, uh, not wait what no 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 eight centimeters high because this closure is also going to be like a i'll show you let's just let's just go so what did i say 12 by 9 straight so 12 by 9 this is how I sometimes make pockets for the journals and I know you've seen some of these so the idea is it's gonna stay here like this but of course we have to cover it with something which it's gonna be this one so how I do it is where are my scissors hmm. yeah just no, we don't need to so much. This is good. Can't seem to find my fabric scissors. Eh? 
when you need them. Where are they? Ah, there you are. Okay, put this away, put this down. Right, I have these ones now. Everything just happens to be blue by some chance, not by design. So, fold here, put this here, turn it around, pull it, but not too much. Put that one there, this side, put it, pull it a bit there, be the other way around. And on my fabric scissors, cut these to reduce the bulk at the corners. And then, um, so I sew like this, when you get to the corner, can you see this? Let me zoom in. When you get to the corner, you push this here in, and then you do this, tuck this in, and continue stitching, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I've sewn around uh, three times. What comes next is I take this one and I'm going to put this on top here. And I'm going to sew, well, sew this down. And then it becomes a pocket. That simple. I'll be back. Before I do that, also I have to um, forgot to show you this. I have to put something here just for some interest because I'm gonna put these um, shells and this starfish right here. Um, so I need um, I'm gonna use uh, what is it called the glue gun, and I need something that has I don't know I don't know how to explain but. <laughs> I just need this to be here and also it looks nice. So I have to also stitch that before I stitch this down. And these I, uh, they were just, let me show you. They were just plain white like this. And uh, I painted over this one with this absolutely amazing color. I don't know if you can see it. It's got glitter. And this one with this pastel blue and this one with this one and this one and then I just put uh, some glitter uh, paint over this one this is just got some a little bit of blue shimmering glitter in it and it's just really beautiful as you can see where am I here yeah. they look this I didn't put any glitter little plain and this one so these are going to go here so let me go and stitch around and I will be back so it's all stitched up and I have my pocket now here which I can show you with what this maybe right here and uh, yeah so that's that now before I put anything else um, we have to do the inside and first we have to move that away. Oh no. no, this one, this one is not going to be a good idea. Better to use a brand new one. Let's tidy up a bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so we have all this. Actually, I'm going to also reduce this because it's too much fabric. We don't need all this. So cut all around.
what I do is take the glue first. Ah, and we also have to put a piece of fabric here because we have to hide the spine. Uh, which color fabric? Maybe I think I'll use this one. Yes, why not? Spine is not so thick. All right, so this. Today I've uh, decided to use a brush because there's a lot of area to cover. So I better just, so I just put the glue under there first so I can stick this down. This is one of the very rare times I've used white so much, but I love it so. And it goes with the with the journal, the theme, and everything. So, put this down. Yes. Right, then we take this, size it down, let's see if we got it right, kind of, but I'll always just can we snip off the So when I do the uh, clip through for the main journal, uh, everyone is going to understand what this was what I was doing here. And yeah, then you might come back here and uh, watch this video. For those who don't see this one first. There we go. I'm going to try this a bit now. So now it's dry. And you can see there's some excess here, which we're going to cut off. Where am I? Am I in frame or not? Yes. Yeah, I can cut this off. find the creases again Make sure this is clean or even better fold this over and the next one is here
so this is done and uh, we have to now make the or even decide if we're going to put anything here which i uh, am not going to do or uh let me see maybe i was going to put lace at the bottom mm. this is when we have to decide um let me see let me see so the lace uh, that i was talking about is maybe something like this <sighs> to go all the way around and I was just, uh, um, I put it against the, the, uh, the journal itself to see what it was doing. Maybe I will, maybe I will put this here. And these are the things, as I said, you have to decide earlier so that you don't make a mistake. I have so many pieces of lace and stuff that I'm just, that I've just been hoarding. Oh, <laughs> Let's see. I was just about to reveal the journal, silly me. Um, so I think, yes, I think I'm going to do this. I am going to... Um, put lace I am um, and I th it has to be a slim piece because yeah I think it's gonna I'm gonna use not white again not this not this very white one but the uh, off-white cream ivory colored one and that has to go before I put the oh this is also very nice because it's ruffled it's very difficult I think yeah I might use this one yes I think I want to use this one and I have enough to go all the way around. All right, this this decision made then. So I'm just in between stitching the um, lace around the uh, uh, what should I call it uh, closure, and uh, we are going to now. I have to measure this so that it can become the panel on either side of the, the back and the front of the closure um, and this paper is from blossom paper art beautiful in fact they have uh, they didn't ask me to do this they don't even know i'm doing this but they already have paper packs that are color coded and whatever so you don't have to crack your head if you're not so good at uh, coordinating your colors and stuff so you can just it's already done for you this is one of the pieces from the pack and um i'm going to finish sewing that and then i'll be back so i made a very big mistake i forgot to put the like i said i was gonna put the pocket where's the pocket this way no first this one and then this one and i was gonna have basically two pockets and i forgot to put this in first i just stitched this on so i've just gone ahead and removed it all with this and I also removed the lace because I didn't like that lace in the end. It didn't look that great to me. So I'm going to use another one. I am going to use, uh, I think, this one or this one. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm able to, because I have to stop the video, I'm hoping I'm able to... Uh, merge the two and doesn't lose its quality and i'll be able to continue because i was going to give up but i said no 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 you gotta soldier on i can't give up for such a thing like that so i am going to so i'm going to put this sew this on first i'm going to sew it here and here 
just down the middle a few stitches here and there to make sure it's secure and i'm going to put this one on top and uh, we're going to move on oh yeah and also i'm going to sew this or whichever one all along the edges and i will be back when that's done okay so that's this lace piece down the closure i put it down i mean i've sewed it sewed it on and sewn it up and down a few times especially here so that it doesn't ever come off and uh, i am also going to sew the ends like this i'm gonna fold and sew um yeah and the second pocket is is has been sewn on so this is what i was meant to do <laughs> from the beginning and i made it quite a mess but here we go here we go now the next i'm going to be stitching this around the perimeter of this okay so that is done so we've put the lace around the perimeter <laughs> and uh yeah so this is basically done and i'll continue with the further decorating it and stuff like that off camera um just know that i'll be putting i guess these here with the with the glue and then i'll be making um journal tags and etc etc for the pockets here and i oh i also did the stitch the edges together uh, down and i'm going to cut this off and uh yeah that's basically it oops and uh, oh, 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 oh. and forgot about this i'm gonna put these here as well which i suppose i can do right now as well why not um what's the measurement for here we have 18 bar and by 12 i guess and 19 18 and 19 okay so paper cutter 12 uh, 12 2 12 pieces and one was 18 19 Always confirm <laughs> before you glue things down. Thank goodness I hadn't glued down the the pocket or something. It was just stitched on. You can just unravel this. Of course, what? This is eighteen. It's supposed to be on this side, and this one is on this side. And we have our spine. Yep. I'll be right back. Right, so I've stitched around the edges. You can't really tell. And I am going to now glue it down. Because of my mistake, the brush is uh, gone hard because of the glue. But this doesn't matter. I'm just going to put it in a jar of water and uh, normal washing up liquid for couple of hours and it'll be as good as new all the glue comes out so let me do this ok 
Okay, so this is it. It's glued on with wood glue. That's the strongest glue you can. Well, maybe there is stronger, but <laughs> it's really strong glue because apparently it can stick wood together onto a wall. You can even put a one kilo um thing on it, and it will still be okay. So that's that's good enough for wood. It's good enough for paper. And I use it all the time. So this is it. It would even be nice as a as a journal on its own as well. You'd have two side pockets to put in your uh, ephemera and then uh, this would be the inside. It would obviously be a uh, not a hidden spine because we've already put the panels here. So anyway, but that's besides the point. So this is it. You're going to see this again and you're going to know how I did it. Um, that's it for me for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for everyone who subscribed. And I've never said this before, but um, if you're a subscriber and uh, you press the notification bell, because now I'll be releasing videos more often, you can uh, get a notification that I have uh, um, uploaded a video. Because sometimes I have to, I've had to actively look for my favorite uh, journal makers on YouTube, when, and I don't get a notification that they have uploaded a video. So if you're interested, you can, if you want, uh, press the notification bell, and then you'll be notified. Of a new upload from Clara. Thank you all for watching and until the next time.